welcome today I'm going to show you how to make a meat pie the keto meat pie this is the result of my keto meat pie it's not um it's not a straightforward uh, process but if you really need meat pie you know it's good but just join me as I show you how to make um, the keto meat pie. Today we'll be making um, meat pie, almond meat pie. So for my filling, I have my minced meat. You can use chicken if you want, and then my seasonings. You can season it anyhow you want. I have my onions. You can add a little bit of maybe your carrot for a little color or bell pepper for a little color but this one I'm just gonna make it um, very simple I have my thyme I have my complete seasoning I just wanted to add a little bit of this I don't normally use it again because it has G A S M. MSG inside and MSG spikes your insulin level so in the ketogenic diet any season that has the MSG is not advisable and of course my salt not too much salt so I'm going to add water to this and then I will put it on the fire to cook while it is cooking we will come and start making our pastry about to you so. so like what I, I said about um, the almond flour it's grainy so I tend to blend my own a little bit finer maybe like um, maybe three cups for those who has been asking me where I get this this is actually from your curtain it's a curtain fiber. You get it from where you sell the curtain materials in any store that sells um, fabrics for your curtain. So this is what we got out from the almond flow. So I am going to use or show you rather a lot of different um it's just not the psyllium husk different uh, binders you can use this is the cmc powder um, this is the zetam gum you can use this this is the wheat gluten there's always a lot of choices out there for you to use if you're not in nigeria this one is easy to get or uh, this one in Nigeria the CMC powder is easier to uh, get so we're going to add our butter the mixed spice I'm using all spice you can use your nutmeg cinnamon mixed spice whatever you want to use A bit of salt I add a little bit of sweetener to mine. You might decide to omit if you don't want it. Depending on the one you use. This is a stevia has an aftertaste, but this one has like, in a pack of this, it has about three grams of carbohydrate. So you have to be careful, just a little. Okay. My uh, vanilla flavor. <gasps> Man, that's much, sorry. Baking powder about a teaspoon of baking powder and about a tablespoon of the coconut flour good old coconut flour I'm gonna use a tablespoon first and see how it works if I add more so I'm gonna use the CMC powder for now I'll start with a tablespoon. Mm. 
or you can use a psyllium husk if you want to. Well, I don't know about that one. So I'm going to allow it to rest for a few minutes before I use it. Okay, this is our dough after resting. But uh, because it's too thick, I'm going to add a little water. The way it is like this, it's going to break up. I'm just going to add a little water, it's too dry. This is my filling. When it was cooked, I put it in the fridge to dry out the, to make the oil congeal. Because if you have oil dripping, it might affect the, uh, the, the closure and the stem. So I allow it to cool down and I put it in the fridge a bit. So you can either bind the stem with your, you can either bind the stem with your your zeta gum, your CMC powder and egg, your gluten, your wheat gluten, your uh, what is it? Your psyllium husk, or as a last result. You can add a few tablespoons of your flour in it to bind it.
Okay, let's see how it goes. Check to make sure that all the openings or the cracks are sealed. So I'm baking it at um, my oven is already preheating. I'm baking it at uh, 320, about maybe 30 or 40 minutes until it's cooked. So this is what the meat pie looks like. The texture is okay. Keto is still keto. The taste is okay. I added a little bit of um, sweetener to it, so. But I like the way it turned out, but it was a bit difficult getting this together. So I hope you try your keto meat pie and tell me how it turned out. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to, jo to ask. But if you want more tips on the keto lifestyle, you can join my group on Facebook, African Keto Diet. And if you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up, share, 
and I'll catch you in my next video.